And here it is. 6.58 p.m. Tuesday, October 24th, 2017. October 24th, 6.58 p.m. I, <clears throat> I just got finished taking a shit. <coughs> And you see the honky bitch jacked it all the way up to a full point on. You still can't feel the pain in my chest, can you? You can't feel that. <coughs> you can't feel the pain in my chest. Because you're not a victim of it, remember? And, um... And I'm going to let this record while I take my blood pressure because I want you to see my heart rate. This is heart attack huh? Look at this, you see it? See, it's all the things you can't see here and feel. You see how they fucking with my blood pressure? And you see my heart rate. I didn't run anywhere. And yeah, it's hard for me to breathe right now because them, them terrorist bitches are fucking with my heart. And all I did was walk from the bathroom into this middle room. <clears throat> and you can see how I'm sweating. I'm sitting here sweating. The, the door, the front window, the front room windows are open, the door, <clears throat> the door is open into the hallway, and then my bedroom, the back room, the window is open, and the door is open, as long as it's not hot outside, I'm going to take my blood pressure again, but I'm going to let it record, and you see how the terrorist bitch turned it back down from that 4.0. And look at this. I just took my blood pressure again. Look at it. My heart rate is still up. And it shouldn't be. And look at my blood pressure. Still high. That's still high. And it shouldn't be. The terrorist honky bitch driving that Chevy Tahoe. Merlin Tag 2CZ 490. The map the bitch in the corner ran her bitch ass home. See the levels? See it? It shouldn't be that. It shouldn't be like that. <coughs> and you see how the terrorist bitch turning right back up. And I'm going to take my blood pressure again. Now to the ambush in Niger. Investigators want to find out if U.S. soldiers and their allies were set up by villagers. Four Americans were killed in the October 4th shootout. They were part of a larger patrol. Margaret Brennan now is following. <coughs> the 12 U.S. soldiers and 30 Nigerian forces had been on a reconnaissance mission for nearly 24 hours. 
The patrol then received new orders to meet with elders in the village of Tongo Tongo, where an ISIS offshoot had recently been recruiting supporters. A U.S. official tells CBS News that the patrol wanted to speak with the elders about countering ISIS's expansion. They may also have been searching for a wanted terrorist. The villagers delayed the troops' departure, and when they left, they were diverted from their planned route for unknown reasons. That's when they were ambushed by 50 enemy fighters. U.S. officials say it is unclear whether the attack was planned or simply one of opportunity. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Joseph Dunford. So they did not expect resistance on this particular patrol, uh, at least when they first planned it. When the attack was over, three U.S. soldiers were mortally wounded, two injured, and one killed. And this, I just took my blood pressure. <coughs> just took my blood pressure again. And you saw the times bits turned back up over 3.0. Just took my blood pressure again. It's still high, and so is my heart rate. My heart rate should not be 95, and I'm sitting down. You know, even if I even if I walked around, my heart rate should not be 95. It should not be. And you see, they fucking with my blood pressure. You see that? You're looking right at it. See, I take my blood pressure. <coughs> I take my blood pressure and document as proof, further proof. You can't feel the pain in my chest because you're not a victim of it. You can't hear the ringing in my ears or the headache because you're not a victim of it. And you see them fucking with my heart. This is what they did. It made, made it so I couldn't donate plasma anymore. They fuck with my heart. Premeditated attempt at murder. I keep telling you that. And I'm going to go back to let it record. The FAA is investigating a close call at San Francisco's airport when an Air Canada jet failed to respond to repeated orders to abort its landing. This follows another near disaster three months ago involving the same airline at the same airport. <coughs> Correspondent Chris Van Cleef. With Air Canada Flight 781 closing in on runway 28 right Sunday night, air traffic controllers at San Francisco's airport made six calls for the pilots to abort the landing. There was no response from the flight from Montreal with 149 on board. Controllers feared a previous arrival wouldn't be clear of the same runway in time. A supervisor in the tower resorted to using a red light like this to alert the unresponsive crew of the possible danger. The A320 landed anyway, moments after the other plane got out of the way. Oh. After landing, the tower made three more attempts to reach the Air Canada plane before finally hearing from the pilot, claiming there was a problem with the airliner's radio. I'm afraid these fellows um, were almost clueless. Ross Amer is a retired airline captain who often flew into San Francisco. Going into a place like San Francisco, if I don't hear any transmission on a very busy frequency for more than 30 seconds, I know I have a problem. And I either switch radios or get a radio check. In July, a different Air Canada A320 came within feet of colliding with four airliners waiting to take off from San Francisco. The United One Air Canada flew directly over us. In that incident, the Air Canada pilots mistook the taxiway for the runway. An NTSB investigation is ongoing. In a statement, Air Canada says its flight was initially cleared to land when it was six miles out, and the airline will investigate what happened. The FAA is investigating as well. Anthony? Uh, Chris Van Cleve on the near disaster there. Thanks, Chris. There was plenty to clean up today <coughs> after tornadoes tore through the Carolinas and parts of Virginia. The National Weather Service confirms two tornadoes touched down in South Carolina. A suspected tornado in Hickory, North Carolina, flipped planes and damaged hangars at a local airport. Heavy rain also caused flash flooding in the region. The FBI today released 1,500 pages from its investigation into the 2012 massacre in Newtown, Connecticut. Anna Werner reports they shed new light on the troubled young man who murdered 20 first graders and six adults at Sandy Hook School. The FBI documents include an interview with an unidentified woman who said she was in contact with Adam Lennon. And you see the terrorist bitch turned it right back up, right? ...dedicated to the 1999 Columbine High School shooting. She 
And look at my blood pressure. Now, while it, mom, that one, on, that number came down, that number's still high. And look at my heart rate. They turned it down a little bit. But you see, they still fucking with my heart. This is what they do. And I'm going to go back and let it record for a few more minutes. Thank you. 
APR plus $1,000 bonus cash. The Elantra is available with blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert. You won't find that on a Corolla or 7. And it's backed by America's best warranty. And I'm sold. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. Now get a 2018 Elantra for $149 a month or buy with 0% APR for 60 months plus $1,000 bonus cash. Hurry in today. In a fall sale going on right now at Value City Furniture. This week, find the looks you love and bring them home with 60 months special financing when you spend $9.99 and up throughout the store. So don't miss the fall sale only at Value City Furniture and online at UCF.com. Before I left the military, I started looking for a college to help me build a successful career in cybersecurity. UMC gave me everything I was looking for, and it's one of the top cybersecurity programs in the country. Plus, they gave me over 40 credits for my military training experience and allowed me to finish much faster than I thought. You see the it connects mind and body using slow, deliberate movements. I had never in any other exercise um, had something that was both energizing and relaxing at the same time. 73-year-old Susan Werbin has taken Tai Chi classes for more than 15 years. A recent study found it improves balance especially in older people, and may reduce the rate of falls by more than 40%. You're moving slowly, but you're oiling your joints. You're letting everything flow together so that you, you know, you, it's sort of the use it and use it. Now there's evidence it can be used to fight heart attacks. Cardiac rehab can help heart attack patients recover more quickly. But the American Heart Association says greater than 60% don't do it. Dr. Elena Samuelago Blacher of the Miriam Hospital in Providence wanted to see if Tai Chi could help. 29 heart attack patients who declined cardiac rehab entered a six-month Tai Chi program. 25 of them completed the program and also increased their level of physical activity. Someone said I got back on my bike. I felt that I could do it again. Things that I was doing before my heart attack and then I got scared and that gave me the confidence of doing it again. Fear of another heart attack is a common reason for declining cardiac rehab. So if larger studies confirm this one, the researchers believe Tai Chi could be a way of gently easing into a more vigorous exercise program. Anthony? Medication in motion, John. Thanks. Still ahead, director James Toback faces new sexual harassment allegations by the hundreds. We get a gift for mom and dad. And every year we split it equally. Except for one of us. I write them a poem instead. And one for each of you, too. Oh, oh that's actually yours. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless, we're stuck with the bill. Uh, to me, words are the most valuable currency. Well, last I checked, stores don't take words. Some do. Oh. Not everyone could be the poetic force of a generation. I know, right? Such a burden. The Bank of America mobile banking app. The fast, secure, and simple way to send money. So you think this chip is nothing to worry about? Well, at SafeLight, we know sooner or later, every chip will crash. These friends were on a trip when their windshield got chipped. So they scheduled at SafeLight.com. They didn't have to change their plans or worry about a thing. I'll see y'all in a little bit. And I fixed it right away with a strong repair they can trust. Plus, with most insurance, a safe light repair is no cost to you. Really? Being there whenever you need us, that's another safe light advantage. Safe light repair, safe light replace. When I look in the mirror every day. When I look in the mirror every day. Every day, I think how fortunate I am. I think is today going to be the day that we find a cure. I think how much I can do to help change people's lives. cellular just might. Our average customer pays just $25 a month for all the talk, text, and data they need. AARP members get exclusive discounts. There are no contracts and a risk-free guarantee, so you can cancel at any time. But you won't, because this is one move you won't regret. Call, go online, or visit any Target store. Consumer Cellular, you've earned it. Your body was made for better things than rheumatoid arthritis. Before you and your rheumatologist move to another treatment, ask 
if Zeljans XR is right for you. Zeljans XR is a one stay repel for adults with moderate to severe RA for whom methotrexate did not work well. It can reduce pain, swelling, and further joint damage, even without methotrexate. Zeljans XR can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections, lymphoma, and other cancers have happened. Don't start Zeljans XR if you have an infection. Tears in the stomach or intestines, low blood cell counts, and higher liver tests and cholesterol levels have happened. Your doctor should perform blood tests before you start and while taking Zeljans XR and monitor certain liver tests. Tell your doctor if you're in a region where fungal infections Infections are common, and if you have had TB, hepatitis B or C, or are prone to infections, Zelgen's XR can reduce the symptoms of RA even without methotrexate. Ask your rheumatologist about Zelgen's XR. The allegations leveled at writer and director James Toback are adding up. 38 women originally accused Toback of sexual misconduct in a report over the weekend. Now, more than 200 additional women told the L.A. Times they were subjected to unwanted sexual advances. Toback, who's 72, has denied the allegations. Walking while distracted will cost you in Honolulu. Starting tomorrow, anyone caught looking at a phone or texting while crossing the street could face a maximum $35 fine the first time. Repeat offenders could be charged up to $99. They're going to make a lot of money in Honolulu. Robert Guillaume died at home today in Los Angeles. He won two Emmys playing Benson Dubois, the acerbic butler on soap, and in the spinoff, Benson. You are leaving muddy tracks all over the place. <laughs> well, that's because I got muddy feet. Guillaume was also known as the voice of Rafiki in The Lion King, for which he won a Grammy. Robert Guillaume was 89. Up next, this NFL star hopes to be the lord of the touchdown dance. He's a NASCAR champion who's faced thousands of drivers. She's a world-class swimmer who stares down the best in her sport. But for both of them, the most challenging opponent was... PD blood clots in my lung. It was really scary. DVT in my leg. I had to learn all I could to help protect myself. My doctor and I chose Zerato. Zerato. To help keep me protected. Zerato is a latest generation blood thinner that's proven to treat and reduce the risk of DVT and PE blood clots from happening again. In clinical studies, almost 98% of patients on Zerato did not experience another DVT or PE. Here's how Zerato works. Zerato works differently. Warfarin interferes with at least six blood clotting factors. Zerelto is selective, targeting just one critical factor interacting with less of your body's natural blood clotting function. Don't stop taking Zerelto without talking to your doctor, as this may increase risk of blood clots. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. It may increase your risk of bleeding if you take certain medicines. Zerelto can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Get help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling. If you've had spinal anesthesia, watch for back pain or any nerve or muscle-related signs or symptoms. Do not take Zerelto if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. Tell your doctor before all planned medical or dental procedures, and before starting Zerelto, about any conditions such as kidney, liver, or bleeding problems. You've got to learn all you can to help protect yourself from DVT and PE blood clots. Talk to your doctor about Zerelto. There's more to know. There's only one egg that gives you better taste and better nutrition in so many varieties. Classic, cage-free, and organic. Only egg when is best. Better taste, better nutrition, better eggs. Betty called me at 6 in the morning. She thought it was a fire. It was worse. A sinkhole opened up under our museum. Eight. Priceless Corvettes had plunged into it. Chubb was there within hours. They helped make sure it was safe. We had everyone we needed to get our museum back up and running. And we opened the next day. You might take something for your heart or joints, but do you take something for your brain? With an ingredient originally found in jellyfish, Prevagen is the number one selling brain health supplement in drugstores nationwide. Prevagen. The name to remember. Paying less for my Medicare? I'm open to that. Lower premium? Extra benefits? It's no, open no, no, no. Time to open the laptop. And compare Medicare health plans. Why? Because plans change. So can your health needs. So be open minded. Look at everything. Like prescription. Yeah. Oh, and Medicare Advantage plans from private insurers. 
Use the tools at Medicare.gov. Or call 1-800-MEDICARE. Open to something better. Start today. Asking the right question is 95% of getting the right answer. Could you give us the details on what those four tax brackets will be? I'm going to make the case that this is not a tax cut for the wealthy. Suppose for a moment you were an NFL running back. How would you train? Weights, running? Chip Reed met a player who was stepping into stardom. Collins turns up field. Alex Collins, a 23-year-old running back with the Baltimore Ravens, is having a banner year, leading the NFL in yards per carry. But people are starting to notice that he sometimes runs. Toss to Collins like he's dancing. And dance his way through the line. And in fact, he is. He's Irish dancing. He learned it from the daughter of his high school football coach. Were you surprised by how hard it was? Oh, most definitely, and I got drenched in sweat. Having 12-year-olds laugh at me is not fun. But he stuck with it, and now he says Irish dance is the secret to his football success. I just feel more explosive, because since I'm always on my toes now, you know, I feel like I have calf muscles like the Hulk from, from Irish like dances. The Hulk. He showed us some of his moves. On the toes, there you go. And then oh, offered some encouragement oh, to someone oh, with two left feet. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> and he showed us how he applies Irish dance to football. I'm a big middle linebacker, mm -hmm. and I'm coming at you, and you do. I'll do something like that. I'll get him out of the way with my little Irish dig. Off the field, he's become an ambassador for Irish dance, and in some cases, a defender. This past Sunday, he met 12-year-old Carl Tubbs, who says he was being bullied because he's studying Irish days. Tubbs' mother reached out to Collins, who jumped at the chance to help. I want to let you know I'm you, man. I will be following your career, man. For Tubbs, it was exactly what he needed. It's really inspired me to keep on going with Irish days. It makes me feel amazing, you know, it makes me feel like I'm, I'm making a difference in someone else's life. Irish dance is making a difference in his life, too, in ways he never imagined. Chipri, CBS News, Owings Mills, Maryland. If this NFL thing doesn't work out, he could have a Broadway career. As for me, I think Tai Chi's more my speed. That's the CBS Evening News. I'm Anthony Mason in New York. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Amazing. So I saw you were having an event and brought in my best friend to get a great deal, too. Well, now's the best time to get fantastic deals on the 2017 Honda Accord. Name one of Car and Driver's 10 best 31 times. It looks great and gets great mileage. Plus, a rear view camera comes standard. Wow. What? I know. So you're getting the Accord. We know. Great. I'll get the keys. Find the perfect Accord for you at the Honda Perfect Accord sales event happening right now at your local Honda dealer. $9.99 gets you a whole lot of bedroom at My Bob's Discount Furniture. The whole shebang. Not half a bedroom like you get from those other guys. Queen bed, dresser, mirror, chest, even a nightstand. And not just one $9.99 bedroom, but nine to fit any style. Country cottage. Traditional. Contemporary. Transitional? Nine complete bedrooms, one untouchable price, only $9.99. Bob's Discount Furniture. And by discount, we mean smart. The Lion King returns to the Hippodrome Theater November 16th.
Plus, only ETs on the set of Shania Twain's first movie, co-starring with John Travolta. We just let the whole crew went crazy. Then, Kelly Clarkson's body image confession, how she hated being skinny. Not only we have Chris Jenner pranking daughter Chloe. Are you naked? completely fooled her. This is a prank call, and I'm on entertainment tonight. This is E.T. That was amazing. What was it really like being married to Chris Pratt? Anna Ferris tells all in a new book just a couple of months after the breakup. Look, let's be honest, that split was a shocker. Everything seemed so perfect in the world, so we poured through every single word in the book for some insight into their failed marriage and where their relationship stands today. During the decade or so that Chris and I were together, we were happy and in love, and we really are just regular goofballs. Revelation number one, Anna has put her eight-year marriage to Chris into the past tense. Anna admits she made minor re-edits to Unqualified in the wake of their split, but she still dedicates the memoir to him. To Chris, your wisdom and strength have made me a better person. Revelation number two. Chris wrote the heartfelt forward after their separation. However, he did not lend his voice for the audible version. When I was asked to write the forward, I immediately said yes without even thinking about it. And boy, did a lot happen between then and now. So much. Revelation number three, Anna was embarrassed and hurt when false tabloid reports of an affair between Chris and his passenger's co-star, Jennifer Lawrence, made the rounds. Jennifer and I really are friendly, and she was apologetic even though she didn't need to be, because she hadn't done anything wrong. Revelation number four, Anna describes the set of this summer's Overboard remake as her sanctuary. While it may sound dramatic to say that it changed me, it really did. E.T. was on the Vancouver set in June. It was just one month before the couple officially announced their split. It's been the best filming experience of my life. It really has. Now, it was on the set of Overboard where Anna met her rumored new man, cinematographer Michael Barrett. Now, they were first spotted together last month. I'll tell you what, Nancy, I just love the fact that she allegedly, reportedly, has bounced back so quick. Yeah, she didn't miss beat. All right. No, she didn't. Well, we have more star moms making confessions about their lives, and Kelly Clarkson may be the most shocking of all. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson is opening up about one of the darkest times in her life. She tells Attitude Magazine, when I was really skinny, I wanted to kill myself. Kelly says pressure beats in pushed her to extremes at the gym. Quote, I was miserable, like inside and out, for four years of my life. But no one cares because aesthetically, you make sense. What doesn't kill you makes you strong. Kelly says about 10 years ago, she started surrounding herself with better people and found self-acceptance. Her fans saw it firsthand the last 4th of July after an online troll commented on her heartfelt message to the troops. And somebody was just like, you're bad. I'm like, are you for real? At least wait till I post a picture. Her reply included an expletive that, yeah, she's so awesome. I cool. am a smart ass. <laughs> you know what? It works, though. And Kelly's not the only singer talking about getting through tough times. Fergie teared up discussing her breakup with Josh Duhamel. It wasn't my plan. <laughs> no, I wanted to stay married forever. The 42-year-old pop star was emotional with Wendy Williams about her split in a clip from Thursday's show. I love Josh. He is the father of my child. Okay. We have ever had that project together, and we're doing the best we can. Fergie sat down with Kelty one week after announcing her separation from Josh. She told Kelty the couple actually parted ways seven months earlier. We decided to go public now, but it's been since February, maybe? Yeah. Why the wait? You know... You don't owe it to everybody to just announce something the second you decide it. It's, it's a process. Yeah, and Bree said in order to give their family the best opportunity to adjust, they wanted to keep it private for a while. Understandable. Well, another musical mama, Celine Dion, is proudly celebrating her twin boys, Eddie and Nelson, throwing through them a Michael Jackson-themed birthday party, and she wrote, can't believe you're already seven years old. Time flies. Happy birthday, my love. So very sweet. Meanwhile, George and the mall made their TV debut on Jimmy Kimmel last night. Well, sort of. And apparently, so did their movie star, Manny.
show solo without them all. And while the man he bit was a gag, George seemed to show Jimmy a real glimpse of little Alexander Clooney. Well, I've got a picture of my son. <laughs> Whatever was in that photo, George didn't share it with the audience, and it left Jimmy stunned. <laughs> well, bless him. He's, uh, it takes after dad, I guess. His father's son. <laughs> Of course, George and Matt are promoting their film, Suburbicon, with Julianne Moore, who told her Harvey Seal she wasn't aware of Matt and Jimmy's bitter 13-year feud. It's well, a feud. What's the origin of the feud? Like, well, was a, what was he, the bumps just, me, uh, he bumps me from his show every night. Oh, I see. And so every night I sit backstage expecting to come on. I get it. Um, I actually live back there. Uh -huh. They um, <laughs> have a, a room. It's not actually as nice as the dressing room. It's like when you come on and you're a guest, like you right. have a nicer dressing room. Mm -hmm. But my room is the other room. And, um, and I live there. I see. So. Hot plate and a cot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do okay. Yeah. I yeah. do okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, you do now, right? Too much. You gotta love it. All right, well, how about a family who is doing more than okay? The Kardashians, they start filming the next season of their e-reality series tomorrow. And they just signed a multi-year deal for additional seasons, reportedly for a cool $150 million. And only our camera Matheson is keeping up with mom and her Chris Jenner. He joins us now from New York with more. Hi, Cam. Yeah, and as the empire that Chris has helped create is reaching billion-dollar status, not to mention the fact that she's expecting some new additions to the Jenner Kardashian clan. But the biggest change for Chris right now might be her new blonde ambition. I was expecting to see you with some blonde hair today. I want, I, you know, I was going to dye my hair blonde, and so you know, Kim's like, let's try a wig, and so we did. So and they do took a picture, but after the martini. I forgot, and then she posted it, I'm like, you look like, wait, wait, what? As the woman behind the Kardashian empire, Chris says the key to her success is keeping it all in the family, between the television shows and cosmetic lines and, and just about everything. And how do you, how do you just keep it all straight? Well, it's not a lot of sleep. I'm really lucky because I have all the girls and Rob who have the best work ethic in the world. So it takes a village. At 61, Chris's grandma to six grandkids with more on the way. Kim and Kanye are expecting baby number three via surrogate. And our sources tell us Chloe and Kylie are pregnant too. 20-year-old Kylie's makeup line is poised to become a billion-dollar business soon. How do you think major life changes for such a young woman will impact her business world and her business? She's really 